In the past, the Dev Pulse has provided you weekly updates on the progress of Holochain development from our Holochain core team. It's been uh, really driven by DHT and Paul Doust in, in service of the community's demand to know what's going on. But we're shifting the focus now of the Dev Pulse because so we've shifted the focus of um, development with our organization so much. So much of the development has broadened now. We really had two main development teams before, Holochain and Holo, to get the Holo hosting infrastructure launched and Holochain as that core underlying data integrity layer that it's all built on. And uh, we've now actually broken our development into five different teams. And part of this reflects the advancement of maturity of Holochain to be built on and to be expanded. And um, so what I wanna do right now is introduce you to the new structure of our development teams and the focus of each team because the Dev Pulse is now going to broaden and not bring you updates only from Holochain Core, but also from Holo and networking and our app development and all that kind of stuff because we've been getting demands for more visibility into those parts of development as well from the community. So the five teams are Holochain Core, and that still is focused on core development of Holochain and um, adding new features and enhancing security and robustness of Holochain, that kind of thing. We still have a lot more that we'd like to be adding to Holochain. There's a networking team, which is focusing on the, the DHT aspect of Holochain, Holochain. So we have sharded data stores, gossip and synchronization between nodes, scaling our P2P networking, getting through NATs and firewalls, setting up appropriate proxies and relays, all the kind of stuff involved in networking, which is um, a heavy load both for Holochain and Holo, actually. That's a big part of uh, the robustness of the network working. Then there's Holo Central. And wh what's interesting, we're using the word central, even though it's a decentralized system, and in that we have a couple parts that are centralized, a couple parts that are semi-centralized. We have some of our data collection of um, performance of hosts and the network statistics and that kind of stuff that are centralized. Also the semi-centralized stuff of um, DNS resolution and that kind of stuff, which all runs on the Cloudflare uh, CDN. So across there, 165 data centers for doing DNS resolution and host routing and that kind of stuff. Um, and the Holo Central crew is focused on the, the core aspects of the Holo business, which by the way, are the parts that are subject to regulatory compliance and oversight. And that includes our hosting services, Holo Fuel, service logging, um, all of that kind of stuff. And it, this team also covers our Holoports, our hardware, and the Holoport OS, the operating system, the Nix OS variant that we've created for being able to deliver to you the, the secure updates of um, software to the Holoports. Then the, the fourth team is what we call the happy team. It builds apps. It builds our core apps, such as key management with DeepKey and identity management with personas and our app store for distributing apps and all that kind of stuff. Also our initial user apps, like chat and community building tools. And then our other kind of UI heavy work, because this is where most of our UI skills are is in this team. So our Holochain admin GUI tools, our rapid application development and scaffolding tools, our UI component library that we're wanting to make available to other developers so they can drop UI components into their apps, and our Holoport admin tools as well. Um, and th this, uh, this actually, this team is also working on some of the UI for some of the stuff in the central team like Fuel and that kind of stuff as well. Um, and then finally, the team that kind of ties all this together, it takes outputs from all of the other teams and brings them together in a kind of integration, testing, automation, scalability um, frame so that we're doing, we're doing quality checking and continuous integration. We're doing scenario testing and scalability testing of Holochain on all these different levels. And even getting to the point that we can use HAPS as tests 
for new Holochain core releases. That's one of the goals. We haven't actually quite gotten there yet, but we're using our own apps that way. Like we don't want to make updates to Holochain core that would break Holofuel, for example. Very important thing to not have happen. Um, but we want to be able to actually take um, apps, core apps and community apps as um, part of our test suite for uh, Holochain updates and everything. So we're doing full end-to-end -end testing of everything and we can truly address anything that might be breaking changes and stuff like that. So you've been getting updates from Holochain Core. Now we're gonna get updates on the networking and scaling and updates on the Holo launch process and where we are with the network health and the apps and the scalability testing tools and all that kind of stuff. So expect new things from the DevPulse.